Okie dokie, artichokey. This one is on the Australian media. I'm going to cover television, radio, and newspaper, mainly focusing on who owns it. Alright, now a few things just to make sure they're out of the way for anyone that doesn't live in Australia. With TV, we have, well, we originally had five main channels of free-to-air TV. Free-to-air is when it is free for anyone to consume as long as you have the right equipment to tune in, and it is mainly funded by either advertising or taxpayer. Now, these are our OG5. We've got ABC, Australian Broadcasting, and then we've got SP Yes, special broadcasting, and they're the two that are government owned. And then the three that we have that are owned by corporations are channel 7, 9, and 10. Okay, from these channels we now have this many, and they also got with the times and made their own little websites for each of them. Now, we'll put the two government owned ones there because we're already at the end of that line, we know how that money train goes. Alright, I should probably add the um, context of being South Australian. So there are some channels that I'm not familiar with and I'm guessing I've got some channels that other Australians wouldn't be too familiar with. Now, now with that being said, let's start with channel 10. We've already done the two government owned ones and now we're on to old mate, the home of neighbours. They've gone through some t difficulty in their financials, but now I'm pretty sure they're good to go because CBS corporations own 100% of them. And now let's do from channel 7, that's owned 41% by 7 group holdings. And then Kerry Stokes, I'm pretty sure he's the original starter of 7, he owns 65.82% of 7 group holdings. Alright, and now I'll do do, I guess, win foreign alien channel to me. That's family owned by Bruce Gordon, and he also has 14.99% of Prime Media Group. I'm assuming they do other channels in other states. Now, this is where it gets messy because it's even changed during the time of me researching. Where on the 10th, we had Bruce Gordon having 14.97% of Channel 9, and now it is different. Where on my chart from a couple of weeks ago, we have Fairfax Media Limited and Channel 9 mainly just connecting to Bruce Gordon, but I believe Channel 9 and Fairfax have merged, so now 9 Fairfax has 100% of 9 and Bruce Gordon has 7.76%. Okay, I could use the mention of Fairfax to perfectly transition into radios, stations, but instead I think I'll use it as an opportunity to bring up the heartless, disgusting cunt Gina the Hutt. You see, she and Kerry Stokes have something in common, but they did it on the flip. She started off with mining and then decided to dip her toes into media, where I think Kerry started off his empire with TV and then broke into mining when he had the funds. And that's why I think it's so important to know who owns your propaganda channels, and that's why you'll see certain ads and we'll never hear certain things mentioned. Gina put a lot of money into fighting climate science, and here, I'll let, I'll let her speak for herself on how much of a piece of shit she is. Furthermore, Africans want to work and its workers are willing to work for less than two dollars per day. Her wealth has increased by 18 billion dollars or more than a million dollars every half hour. But on a personal level, the journey hasn't always been easy. I've always been in situations where you have to cope and that's it. Okay, I'm mainly dunking on Gina because she's an easy target for saying such ridiculous things on the public record. You should really be extra concerned about old mate Kerry Stokes because um, after getting into mining, he's also got a fair hold in um, beach energy and uh, woodside energy, which I may have mentioned in a previous video, they are all about that oil. And Kerry also has a thing for wanting to put journalists in jail, but he keeps his head down while doing it, so it's not very well known. Okay. Back to this merger with Fairfax and Nine that happened like this week, where my information from when I started this video had Fairfax at 54.5% of Macquarie and then it has John Singleton at 32%, where now it's just simply Nine at the 54.5%. Now that, that little group there is responsible for bringing you, what was it, like 2GB? I think Sydney's most popular radio station, full of more uh, sexist, climate change denying shitheads. But you know, each to their own, all can have an opinion. Next up for radio. We've got Janet Cameron, she's got Grant, that's family owned, and Bill Colors, which has Super Radio Network. I know the logo's really Super Network Radio, Super Radio Network. That's also family owned. These two have pretty much all of regional Australia covered. And last up for radio stations is Nova. Yeah, I love this, which is 100% owned by Lachlan Murdoch. And of course, then this is the perfect way to transition into newspapers because you see Lachlan Murdoch is the co-chairman to News Corporation, which yes, of course, his father, Rupert Murdoch, is the executive chairman. And News Corporation owns 100% of News Corp Australia, which has 
13.23% of HD and E Limited. All Murdoch. All that's Murdoch. Now, here is just a short list of the newspapers underneath News Corp Australia. Post Chronicles, Daily Telegraph, Fraser, Geelong Advertiser, Herald Sun, Northern Territory News, Sunshine Coast Daily, The Advertiser, The Bundaberg News Mail, The Cairns Post, The Chronicle, The Daily Examiner, The Daily Mercury, The Curie Mail, The Gold Coast Bulletin, The Gypsy Times, The Mercury, The Morning Bulletin, The Northern Star, The Observer, The Queensland Times, Townsville Bulletin and Warwick Daily News. Now the only other newspapers around, uh, well there are, I think there's two, The West Australia, that's Kerry Stokes, that's paired with seven, and I think he has a few radio stations and another newspaper for it, the Kalgoorlie Minor, which seems shocking from somebody who also has mines. See how that works? And now here are the other newspapers we have in Australia. Central Western Daily, Daily Liberal, Macquarie Advocate, The Advocate, The Age, The Bendigo Advertiser, The Border Mail, The Canberra Times, The Curia, The Daily Advertiser, The Examiner, The Herald, The Northern Daily Leader, The Sydney Morning Herald, and Standard Western Advocate. They are all under Fairfax, or I guess nine now, and it's a bit crushing when you realise that all your newspapers in your country are probably owned by the same two, three people, but then there's only half a dozen people that control every aspect of mainstream media. That is why God, Allah, Yahweh, Border, Ganesh, every flying Spaghetti monster, bless the internet. Oh yeah, thank fuck for the internet. I remember, we're a big ass isolated island with all of our cities fairly isolated themselves. Without the internet, we'd have been screwed. Take my hat off to parents and grandparents. Pen pals are good, but shit. When half your media is in your typical Murdoch choker hold, but then it being fairly obvious that the rest of it, anyways, it's like mining, media, and climate change denying planet fuckery all go hand in hand in Australia. Wicked. But yeah, it, I find it fascinating, and it, it really got to appreciate how far we've come for the fact that I remember my mum telling me about how they were the first on the street with a TV, and they used to put cellophane over over the screen, half blue and half green over the black and white, and having neighbours and friends come around to see it. And then remembering when one of my friends first got the internet and going over there just to, just to, back when you had to plug it in with a cord. Remember remember those days? Couldn't call anybody with the phones with the cords? But yeah, the main point I wanted to make on this is it's always good to glance back at the propaganda box and have a propaganda at their propaganda, because usually what they are feeding you is a good place to start with understanding on what you don't need to care about or it doesn't matter. But in saying that, who doesn't love watching Tracy Grimshaw hunt down some hoons. And let's be honest, you're probably not Australian if you haven't found yourself at 2am wondering about what drugs the people must have been on while making the music video you're watching on Rage. And gotta appreciate free to air because people would be pissed if they had to pay for cricket or the grand final. You know, that, that good community atmosphere where you're all yelling at your TV and pouring beer on yourself. Yeah, gotta love it. But with that said, if you want any sort of information about anything Australian, culture, politics, policy-wise, you, honestly, your best bet, your best bet is the friendly Geordies and the Juice media. Yep, someone who will do half his videos yelling about pretending to be people going through a bottle of and his other half of his videos are very good at explaining very important things about our country and beyond. And the Juice Media with their satire, with their truthful government ads, will probably give you a lot more information about a lot more things than 10, 9, 7, maybe ABC and SBS all mashed together. So yeah, I'll link them. Go check them out. Have a lovely day and please like, subscribe and share.